Good morning. I'd like to give you a progress report on the SAFE project. The SAFE project is a minimalist's approach to giving the web a necessary and important upgrade. So you all know the web. The web is the world's most successful application delivery system, and it has reached everywhere mainly because of the efforts of a lot of extremely clever people who found ways to make it work, despite the fact that it was not designed to be an application delivery system. It was intended to be a document retrieval system, worked well for that, wasn't intended to do virtually everything else that we're doing. And we're doing it anyway, but it is hard. It is much harder than it should be. Web developers spend most of their time doing workarounds, trying to get around design limitations and errors in the architecture, not spending their time adding value. So it's a very frustrating environment in which to do development. It's an extremely complex thing because, again, it, it wasn't designed to do what it needed to do. More standards and features have been added over the years, often without a, a lot of clarity as to where the thing was actually going to be going and how it was going to be used. So it's really complicated, and standards cannot reduce the complexity of the web. Standards can only increase its complexity by adding more and more stuff to it. And all of that results in high cost of development. It is much too hard and risky to create web applications. We really need it to be easier. But the biggest problem with the web is its insecurity. We have a, a large set of security exploits, uh, cross-site scripting attacks, uh, requests for or, uh, uh, excess RF attacks, clickjacking, all that stuff. And also the web is dependent on, on passwords. And passwords are really problematic in systems that are used by people, because people are only able to remember a limited number of passwords. And really, we shouldn't ever have to manage any passwords, because we're just not good at it. So to correct all these things, uh, we have the SAFE project. And the SAFE project will be delivered in a series of parts, a small number of good parts. The first one is SafeNode. SafeNode is a module which will add a curated set of cryptographic services to Node.js. SafeNode provides elliptic curve 521, provides AES 256, and SHA-3-256. So it's not a complete cryptographic library. It's only providing the features that we need for the SAFE project. And the most important thing SAFE is providing is a very good random number generator, because the random number generator that you get with JavaScript is really not very good. And so we need to do a good one. And the hard thing about doing random numbers well is seeding. And so um, the SAFE node does entropy collection. We'll be harvesting entropy from the operating system, which is a pretty common practice. But we're also going to harvest entropy from your microphone. So we'll turn on your microphone and listen to the noise. And we'll take that and accumulate enough noise and use that to see it around a number generator. And we'll do the same thing with your camera. We'll turn your camera on and just look at a few frames. And we'll take all those pixels. And at the time that you turn the camera on, generally, that's when you get the noisiest signal while the thing is trying to balance itself. And so we'll collect that noise and, again, use that to create good random numbers. So we're releasing it today. Um, Safe node is a, you can go and find it at safe.place. And it's an MIT license. And you can go and, and use it for any purpose that you want. We're going to be using it to do part two, uh, the, the safe protocol. The safe protocol will be JSON over TCP, secure JSON. So we're going to be using the cryptographic stuff that's in safe node and delivering JSON in a session-based architecture. So we don't have the problems we have in HTTP, which is a document retrieval protocol. We're going to be able to deal with, with, with sessions efficiently, which is what applications want to do. Then part three is going to be built on the SAFE protocol. It'll be the SAFE resource management system in which we're going to allow you to retrieve uh, artifacts, uh, resources, pictures, document scripts, by their crypto hash. So instead of giving names and locations, we'll have a, a, an exact thing which gets exactly the thing that you want. And it has really nice caching properties because things never go stale because nothing is ever allowed to mutate. And that's how we're going to be 
delivering things in our protocol. Then step four will be safe apps. What we're going to do is take Node.js and cobble onto it Qt. Qt is an uh, application framework that was developed in Norway. It was part of Nokia for a while, but it's now open. And it's brilliant, and it's nice, and it's clean, and it talks to uh, graphics processors, and it's a really nice model. So we'll use Node for the network part and Qt for the UI part. So we'll have two JavaScript event loops going on at the same time, each specialized for its own domain, communicating with each other through JSON messaging. And there'll be no, no HTML in it, no CSS in it. It'll just be a really nice way to develop applications. Then step four, we're going to take that system and build a helper app. A helper app is an independent program which a web browser can interact with. And that will be the way that we start to sneak SAFE into the web. And at that point, it will be possible to evaluate SAFE in a web context and decide if it's something that you want to migrate to. The goal of the SAFE project is to provide safe and effective relationship management on the web. The, the web is very good at doing promiscuity, where I want to go to a site I've never been to before, and you can mostly do that without exposing yourself to harm. But it's not very good for, for committed relationships. And so that's what SAFE is for. So th this is the program. We're going to first come up with SAFE node. You can get that today. Then the SAFE protocol, then SAFE resource management, SAFE apps, and then finally the SAFE helper app, which gets us into the web. So I'm making claims about security of this system that will be much more secure than the applications we can make on the web today. So we're going to significantly reduce the level of risk that you currently have to tolerate to be working on the web. But any time you start saying things like, well, my software is going to be secure, well, that's obviously not true, right? Software is never secure. So the difficulty in making secure software is, first, it needs to do what it should. And second, even more importantly, that it doesn't do what it shouldn't. And initially, no software is secure because we do not have the technology yet to make secure software, at least not in the first go. But I want to make something in which we eventually will get there. And I believe that the only way to get there is by taking a minimal approach. Because we found that with a maximal approach, you never converge on the safe thing. I mean, we're still finding really serious errors in SSL 20 years after its introduction. I'm hoping that we can do better than that. So I expect that our first release will find some really embarrassing things in it. But eventually, we'll get it down to a point where it becomes trustworthy and reliable. I want to thank PayPal for supporting this work and for agreeing to allow us to open source this so it's available today in a, in a nice and easy way. And I expect that the rest of the project will be released under the same terms. So for more information about the SAFE project, please come today at uh, 1345 to room G109. And we'll do a deeper dive into SAFE and explain more of the motivation and how it works and where it's going and some of the longer term implications of it. Also, stop by the PayPal booth and get that sticker. And I'm sure you've got something you'd like to stick that on, so go and get that. So thank you very much. <laughs>